Many of you know that I was recently at Roltec, one of Chameleon Antenna's partner manufacturers, and I had two favorite moments during my time there. I enjoyed the entire time and appreciate them rolling out the red carpet for me and showing me so many things that I've been able to share with you, but two favorite moments. Here's my first. This is the this coil. This is our Chameleon Antenna coil. We actually don't have a name for it yet. That's right, I got a sneak peek at a new Chameleon antenna system that's still in the process of being manufactured and put together in a kit. They're still in the naming process. We're on the front end of this, everyone, and I'm going to give you a look at it today. Here's my second favorite moment. And we are using, you know, aluminum, stainless steel, and Delring, like we do with everything else. So we want to make sure we have the best materials for our product like we always have been doing. Um, and it's very simple, you know, it's got a little knob here, you only need about a quarter turn, and then, you know, this guy will just pop right up there. And that's our guy. Can I touch? <laughs> you can touch. <laughs> In fact, this one is for you, so you'll be able to take this one home today. This one is for you, so you'll be able to take this one home with you today. Do you understand why this is one of my favorite moments during the visit and why unexpressive Bob is grinning ear to ear? Two of these antenna systems are fully completed and in existence in the world today. One is at Chameleon headquarters in Reno, Nevada, and one is in Tampa Bay, Florida with me. No fear, yours is in the process of being manufactured as we speak. Understand I'm providing a review before this is actually released. So some of the details might change slightly. Some of the packaging, what comes with the kit, but this is how I understand it today. So if we go back to what we're used to with a Cha Hybrid Micro or Mini, this is the older version with the black Delrin. They now are manufactured in white Delrin. We're used to this particular threaded stud at the bottom, which is our grounding system. And things should be looking pretty familiar to you at this point in time. We have a very similar setup. So anything that would work with our Cha Hybrid, either micro or mini system, we can expect to also work with the new Chameleon coil antenna. This means that our new antenna system is going to work with the Cha jaw mount. It means that the new system is going to work with the UCM mount. And it also means that the new coil system is going to work with the Cha spike. As a matter of fact, I think it's going to be packaged with the Cha spike. So I believe at a minimum, what you should expect to see in the future kit will be the coil and antenna, the Cha spike, and this ground radial puck. Now, before we pick this up and get a closer look at construction and how it works, let's talk about operating bands. With the coil completely collapsed and the telescoping antenna collapsed, we should be able to get resonant on two meters. My analyzer will not read SWR at that frequency, so I jumped to six meters down through 40, and I was able to get this resonant very easily and very quickly, backyard portable with three radials. And we'll talk about the radial puck in just a minute. So this antenna system, let's just just say two meters down to 40 the way it looks right now and we'll come back to that in a second now let's take a look at things that are new and things that are old let's pull away everything that's old from the tabletop here well we've all seen the cha spike before so let's go ahead and pull that out of the picture and then i guess you could say the next thing we could pull out would be the ss oh that is not an ss17 this is an ss17 so what we have now is an antenna that is as durable and beefy as an SS-17, but it's 58 inches long when completely extended and it's four sections and it's 17 inches collapsed compared to 25 inches on the SS-17. So Chameleon is looking to give us some really small gear here to go backyard portable Poda Soda and anywhere that we need to operate. The interesting thing is with the SS-17, let's go ahead and bring that back into the screen and on the tabletop here, I was able to take the SS-17 with the coil and get resonant on 80 meters. And so while I don't believe the SS-17 is part of the package, if you already own the SS-17 or some similar antenna, you have a kit now that could get you resonant from two to 80 meters. And if you own the Cha military whip, you can use this as well with the new chameleon coil. Anything 3 8 by 24 will work with this. This will still only get you to 40 meters you need the SS-17 to get to 80 meters. 
Let's talk about quality construction. We'll come to the coil in a minute, but let's start with this telescoping antenna. What do you think most manufacturers would do when they're trying to make something uh, less than half, maybe close to a third of the size of the original? Well, most manufacturers would start at the skinny end and work down to get their length before they terminated at the bottom with the threaded stud. That's not at all what Chameleon did. Look at the size of the top section here. They started at the bottom and worked up. They gave us an incredibly beefy, sturdy, strong, long-lasting antenna here. I have many shorter collapsible antennas that are about the same length as this. And you have to be careful of pulling the top section out for fear that you might snap it. So kudos, Chameleon, instead of starting at the top, which quite frankly would likely have been sufficient because this is a very strong antenna, you gave us something that is shorter, but yet the top section of this thing just isn't going to snap when you pull it out. And even if you bang it against something accidentally, this is going to be quite durable. I think we expect things like this from Chameleon, but I was even surprised when I saw this. All right, telescoping antennas out of the way, and let's get a look at the coil itself. Typical chameleon, we have something that's pretty to look at. Not that that's going to help the propagation or it's going to put better RF out there, but it looks nice, right? So we have ODG or CDG chameleon drab green. It looks very nice. What we have here is an aluminum tube in the middle, and then we have a stainless on the end for durability. And then on the inside of this, where we have the coil, this coil material is Delrin, and Delrin is known for its strength and durability qualities in an industrial environment. So that's what Chameleon has given us. Great quality components and materials. Some of you are familiar how to use antenna systems like this. Some of you are not. So I'm going to assume that you are not. If you keep this collapsed and you put your telescoping whip on the end of this, that's going to get you onto higher frequencies. As you want to get onto lower frequencies, you would want to loosen this nut and you start extending your coil and you're lengthening your antenna as you extend your coil. And what most people do is they put an analyzer here uh, with some coax in between and then you watch your analyzer and for resonance uh, for the frequency that you want to operate on. Depending on how heavy your antenna is determines whether or not you would need to tighten down on this nut. So this is already pretty stiff. I'm trying to push it back and forth with my fingers. I could if I really applied pressure and most whip antennas aren't that heavy. Maybe if we put the SS17 on top of here for any period of time, you would want to torque down on this nut. And maybe it would depend on how long you leave this up in the air. But more often than not, when you use these type of antennas, you get them resonant. You're operating for a couple of hours. They don't move around on you. And you'll get a few for it just by putting it on your hand and seeing how much tension and friction is here. You can see my hands are just flexing back and forth, but the coil isn't moving at all. You can move it, but it's pretty tight. And that's typical of antennas like this. And this one feels pretty stiff, which I think is good because it's going to mean I can put my telescoping antenna on here and not necessarily need to use that nut. If you're concerned about it sliding and getting off frequency, then go ahead and tighten that down. One of the most unique additions to this antenna system is the radial puck. And I've leaked this already on a couple of videos because this radial puck will be for sale on the Chameleon website with some ground radials. And you can use this with all existing Chameleon Cha Micro or Cha Mini systems. It has six holes in it, so it will accept six banana plugs. These are my radial wires that I put together many, many months ago. And Chameleon is going to be offering something similar to this. And you just insert the banana plug into the radial puck and you've got radials, really easy to set up and tear down. Well, this is one of the major features that will be included on the new coil antenna system because the base of this is pretty much just like the Cha Hybrid Micro and Mini system. 
So install this on the bottom of your coil antenna. Same thing. Insert your banana plug radials and away you go. Attach this to your CHA spike, to your CHA UCM, or your CHA draw mount, or any other antenna system that will let you attach a 3 8 by 24 at the base. Put your telescoping antenna on here, get your analyzer on, adjust your coil, and start operating. Did I mention you're getting the first look at this? Aside from about everyone in this shop today and a couple people uh, back at uh, Chameleon HQ, nobody has seen this product yet. In addition to being handed a brand new Chameleon antenna system to take home and test, review, and share with you, I was able to witness some of the manufacturing processes while there. And here's the puck in some of its final manufacturing steps. The six holes are being reamed and drilled out on the tiny puck before it goes out for anodizing. And beyond this, I've been able to see how they prepared the coil to wrap the wire around it. I have to admit my mind was blown just a bit. I've seen a lathe turn material. But here, after they've turned the Delrin tube, they're finalizing with some test material how to wrap the wire around the coil itself. I walked out the door that day with new antenna in hand, but once I complete test evaluation and video review, back to Chameleon, the antenna goes, getting ready for final preparation of all components, packaging, and user manual. Don't worry, lots of components are in process in manufacturing. As a matter of fact, I wish I would have taken a Sharpie marker and marked my name on every one of those necessary to produce serial number one. So we have a brand new Chameleon coil antenna system that looks great and is made from premium materials. But does it send and receive RF? Let's get it outside, set it up, and test it. Backyard portable we go where I take the CHA spike and push it into the ground with my bare hands. I know you're jealous that your ground is not as soft as mine. I also think that gives me an unfair advantage getting good SWR with my ground radials too. Let's get the coil on there, our telescoping antenna, and put it all the way up. At full height, it's just a little bit taller than I am. The easiest of all, ground radials, banana plugs into the puck, how much easier does it get? After the necessary adjustments to get good SWR back away from the antenna so your physical proximity does not influence your reading. I stumbled into a contest receiving some strong signals out of Europe. So I set up two antennas in the backyard, one being the Chameleon antenna coil system and another that's well known. Back in the shack, I switch back and forth between these two antennas just to hear the receive quality between the two, and sure enough, the chameleon performs just as we would expect. You can watch the S-meter to confirm that. During this international contest, I made several QSOs. I'm only showing you one. Everybody gets a 5.9 during a contest, but I did give this gent over in Germany my call sign once. He had no problem picking me up on my transmission and repeating it back to me. Kilo Delta 4 Bravo Mike Golf. Kilo Delta 4 Bravo Mike Golf. 5-9 Delta Alpha Romeo Charlie. 5-9 Tampa, Florida. Thanks, Delta Alpha Zero Delta Quebec. Where's the Echo Zero? Alpha Echo Zero Charlie. 5-9 Delta Alpha Romeo Charlie. Thank you very much. Alpha Zero Delta Quebec. I believe this is Chameleon's first entry into the coil antenna market, and in my opinion, they've nailed it. We have good-looking gear manufactured with quality components, premium materials, and repeatable and reliable manufacturing processes. The new kit will likely include the radial puck, a ground spike, the new telescoping antenna, and the coil itself. This should go on sale within the next couple of weeks, so sign up for Chameleon's newsletter, follow them on their Facebook page, and watch their website for the actual introduction date. If you had half as much fun watching this video as I did visiting the Roltec site, Chameleon's key manufacturing partner, and setting up and testing and evaluating this antenna, then you, my friend, had a good time. I'll talk to you soon. There'll be more on this antenna to come. 73.